The law enforcement torch run is an annual event that where our law enforcement officers around the state run legs through the area to raise awareness and, and hope that um, people come to know our athletes on a newer level um, because they're getting ready to go to the state summer games. It's an event that brings inclusion and awareness to our athletes and, and really highlights our law enforcement officers as you know the supports that they are to Special Olympics Illinois. And the, and the fact that it all culminates you know, at the opening ceremonies, the state summer games, it's just magnificent. Our route starts right here and we take the torch around this corner and just take 45 straight through Mattoon, um, down Lakeland Boulevard. The Effingham leg has run for many years prior. Um, they've always ended at the Mattoon McDonald's. So in the last two years, we've had the Mattoon Police Department and the Coles County Sheriff's Department get involved and run that leg through Coles County. We will be on the side of the highway. Um, so yeah, we do have a motorcycle, lead motorcycle that goes with, that kind of makes sure that we're safe on our intersections and when we're coming up to spots that we're gonna do safety checks. Um, we also have the two uh, trucks that will carry officers that need breaks and you know where they can get water and get rehydrated, and then myself in the back. Um, we do have the vehicles, and then I follow in the way back. Um, sometimes I go up to meet the athletes, like we also have a stop in yoga at the Casey's, but our Neoga Seagull Indian Special Olympics team will be meeting us there and walking the torch to that Dollar General stop. The culmination of all the legs of the torch run come in at the opening ceremonies of the State Summer Games on Friday, June 10th this year. Um, it is an amazing event because all the lights in the Hancock Stadium go down and all 18 torches come running in with law enforcement officers from around the state because usually our officers from Effingham do go up to the um, state summer games. Um, they walk in the parade of uh, athletes with our athletes. Um, so it's, it's really a bonding experience between our law enforcement officers who are our state sponsors and our athletes in the area. It's also a, a fundraising event where we do um, sell the t-shirts and a lot of our law enforcement officers raise funds through various activities prior to the event where that in fact is donated to Special Olympics Illinois to help with our summer games costs. Um, last year the Area 9 cost for summer games was $16,000. So, a little over that actually because it pays for the three days of housing for our athletes, nine meals. Um, so, the law enforcement torch run last year raised, it was a little over $5,000 and that helped me with the cost of the Area 9 Summer Games bill. So, it, I mean, it is just a magnificent support for our Area 9 athletes and what they want to achieve in their goals to advance on to state and then higher levels like nationals and world games. We will have the Matthew Charleston Hornets and other various athletes from Camp New Hope. Um, our young athlete will be there. Um, so we, we do have several people who will be meeting at the Wabash and Lakeland Boulevard intersection today. And they will be walking with the torch, taking turns to City Hall where the Mattoon PD will hand off the torch to our uh, Coles County Sheriff's Department. Um, at the Mattoon City Hall, our Coles County Sheriff's Department takes it over and finishes out through Mattoon. Um, and then we, of course, have tomorrow our Posodum, um, Illinois State Police District up there, will take over the torch um, and carry it through Champaign up towards Muhammad um, and further on towards Bloomington. And of course, on Friday, we, can, we finish out the run with our uh, into Bloomington and then our law enforcement officers from around the state culminate and do the run through Bloomington into the Redbird Arena for our banquet that evening. We have team registration in the morning uh, with competitions starting at noon on Friday. We have several events going on on the track. Um, so it, it'll be a great afternoon. It's supposed to be warm and sunny. And then we have that opening ceremonies on Friday evening starting at 8. Hey, Torch Run 2016. Go